hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife uh, what we did hear now allegedly is that uh, the palace is in the sari as uh, olori mariam and uh, ayabalola take their fight to the next level <laughs> okay oh, for the interest of those of you who have not been following the trend uh, let me just highlight a little bit that you need to know about this Lola and uh, Mariam. My people, according to what with the heel, there was a time they said the king went and paid Lola's bread price secretly. Although, uh, from what we are hearing, they said uh, it wasn't so, that it was Lola's family who proposed a secret marriage between Lola and the king, and they said the king's father refused and declined their offer so but ever since then lola have been in the palace ayaba lola she have been she have a chalet in the palace and the buzz goes between her and the uh, mariam have not stopped they say this time around it is getting out of hand by the day so according to what we are hearing alleged they said why these two are fighting like cat and uh, dog is because uh, when when nomi left the palace when they said the king was begging her to return back and she said no that the king had been dating lola as a matter of fact they said lola and uh, uh, Runke are the oldest ayaba for the king you know even before mariam came into the picture as a matter of fact Lide badmus was also there uh, and you know saying that through Lide, naim mariam enter so and they said because uh lola is always available that lola is the king's hands handbag that any outing that the king is going there then you uh, you see that uh, she he will always go with lola in as much as when uh, mariam is in the picture that they say mariam is always busy due to her nature of job you know then this lola will always be present to attend any occasion with the king Okay, the thing continued though. They said uh, when it was time for the king to marry all the Soloris, when he wanted to compensate all the Ayabas with marriage, why he did not uh, marry Lola is because they said after the king married uh, Mariam, one thing we should know is that the king loves money. Nobody, uh, there's no one disputing that, you know. And Maybe the king married Lola, uh, married uh, Mariam first because of her wealth, you know. Because according to what you with the Hebel, I say Mariam gave money past Lola. And Lola is always available, but Mariam is always busy. So Mariam hates Lola so much due to the fact that she believed that uh, she is taking away the KBSC from him. And all the time, uh, Lola will be attending function with the king, you know. So Marian was like, I am going to deal with you, you know. They said there was a time uh, Lola bought a king, bought a, a perfume. She traveled to Turkey and bought a perfume for the king. And Marian got to know about the perfume. So uh, they said Marian paid a blogger. I don't know how true all this is, but that is what we have been hearing. They said Marian paid a blogger to start spreading the news that uh, Lola used jazz on that perfume so that the king will forget every other person and be coming just for her. And we do know that uh, they are always seen in a, in a function or in a occasion as in Lola and the king. So with this news, one will believe that it is true. You know, they said when the king heard of it, he was so mad at Lola. You know, and he wasn't suspecting that uh, Mariam could do a thing like that. So they said Mariam set Lola up with that perfume, uh, uh, spreading the bad news that Lola used jazz, jazz on the perfume he bought. She bought for the king when she traveled to uh, Turkey. So uh, they said the king was afraid of his life. That was why he did not include Lola. On those ayaba turn end time oloris, you know, because it was expected at least Lola would have been the first 
considering how uh, he always go on function with Lola, you know. So then, that was why the king did not marry Lola then. But after much pleadings and uh, you know the uh, and doings, let me just include that because we know say he go there among after much pleadings and doings and all of that and the investigation. Uh, now, uh, be like say the king can't find out say uh, set up, you know. That was when uh, he went back to Lola, and as it is now, we have been hearing allegedly that the king paid the bride price. If it is true, we don't know. If it is not true, we don't know. But there is this uh, uh, something uh, uh, that people are talking about. Some people are saying if the king did not marry Lola, that they saw Lola in a, fun in a function recently with the king's bodyguard and that, uh, what thing did they call him? That thing where they, they carry, you know? And they said whenever uh, they carry that thing and follow you, it simply means that you are official and olori. Now some people talk say that one now it was then that it is no more in this age and time that this is business that it depends on the amount of money that you pay. They get the amount where we say if you pay the king will release all his uh, entourage and uh, bodyguards to escort you to any, any function. And that is why they said even the Ayabas too if you get that money you go pay, you, you go and pay the money and the king will release all his uh, bodyguards and the cars and they will use it to escort you and you know you go and do maga maga and all of that so uh, the people should forget about that one that lola can go and pay it so that uh, she go pepe mariam who have been fighting her to her nail so and we do know that they said lola still have uh, uh charlotte in the palace so and what will they hear now be say Lola come the uh, uh, Maria then oh, the king don't pay my bride price there's nothing anyone can do about it we don't know if it is true or if she's just doing it to pepe Maria but if the Lola if the king have not married Lola what is she st still doing in the palace so my people they say their fight it is taking another turn by the day because they say Maria too no they give up uh, Lola now Mariam's uh, match so all of them then they disturb the palace with their uh, incessant uh, quarrels and the uh, exchange of and altercation and all of that but in all it is the king that should be blamed for all this in as much as the king did not marry Lola that is if she, he did not marry Lola why will Lola still be in the palace of course it is not only Lola that is Danaya but that is still in that palace but I don't know what to say or what not to say. If, the thing is that Lola is not lucky enough. If not, they say Lola have been in the king's life even before Mariam. You know, but be, because Mariam is who, what she is, she fights and see that uh, Lola did not enter by setting her up. And ever since then, uh, Mariam and Lola don't they fight themselves to turn nail. You see, these people, if you give them the opportunity, they fight by themselves. That is why the king should be very careful with them in that palace. Anyways, my people are so we hear them. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Because I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are here to subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. And share it. And say your opinion on the comment section. Bye for now. Love you guys.